Hi, I'm Jeff Chubb with REN Network, and today I'm talking about the buying power checklist. Ultimately, how can you make your offer more competitive? So for our team and for all of our clients, we've actually created this sheet, the buying power checklist. Basically, what's happened is the market is so competitive that, well, buyers are looking for any advantage they possibly can in order to be a little bit more competitive and also ultimately secure that house. So what we're seeing is that we're seeing multiple offers, sometimes 10, 12, 15 offers on one single property. And if you're a buyer, this is pretty overwhelming and you want to put your best foot forward. So this is really tough for a buyer to figure out, hey, what is a good offer? And a lot of times they're wondering, how exactly do I make my offer a little bit more competitive? So. We figured this buying power checklist is great for buyers and we send them to all of our buyers as they're go getting into the buying process that really breaks down to three different categories of how competitive their offer is going to be. So each time they're putting an offer in, they can kind of go down the checklist and see is it going to be in the low buying category, the average buying category, or the high buying power category. And so how the system works is it's basically off of checks. The more checks you have, the more competitive your offer is. For example, if you're a cash buyer, which is ultimately they say cash is king, right? Something like that is going to be worth three checks in order to help make your offer more competitive. Zero to six checks is that low buying power threshold. Seven to 14 checks is where we find average buying power. And then high buying power is really anything with 14 checks or more. So in this example as being a cash buyer, it gives you three of those checks. Or for example, you might choose a home inspection and waiving that home inspection. If that's the case, that's gonna give you two checks. So you could also do over asking price. If you're just a little over asking price, that is one check. But if you're, let's see here, 10% or more over asking price, which believe it or not, we're seeing a lot of offers ultimately ended up being accepted for 10% or more, that's two checks. So that's the buying power checklist. And this is again, something that we give all of our buyers at the Chubb Homes team um, in order to help them through the process and ultimately make their offer more competitive and thereby increasing the likelihood that it is going to be accepted. In future videos, I'm going to break down the things on this buyer checklist that will ultimately help make your offer more competitive and exactly what they are. If you're finding this information useful, and you'd like to learn more, then be sure you hit the subscribe button below. And by the way, my name is Jeff Chubb. My team, the Chubb Homes team, we're brokered by eXp Realty. Should you have any questions about the buying process or really the real estate process in general, we'd love to chat with you. The best number to reach us at is 617-480-2600, or you can reach us online at boston2.com. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to hearing from you.